MGB GT has arrived to Maui. There this is, is going to be my 007 project oh, yeah. dream car build. 007 GT. its glory. <laughs> New oil cooler. Let's fire it up. Let's fire Sign it off up. on this Let's thing. Fire it up. Double O seven, about eighty percent there. She's been painted. The oil's been changed. Spark plugs have been changed. Um, I got some lights that I, issues I got to work out. Uh, some kind of rubbing on when it when the car breaks. But uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to point out some of my uh, favorite little touches of the car. One is the um, the interior bling blingery that I, I have gotten. The holy grail of steering wheel uh, centers. I rather like this uh, knob, and you know, just for fun, some cool little things. The theme of the car is a 007, so this is my James Bond edition. MGB GT. Yes. It's, it's an upgrade from poor Rusty Red. I, I tell you, if I cried when that car left, I can only imagine what would happen if I ever had to sell this baby. I, you know, I have to admit, with the roof on it, the extra weight, I'm pretty used to driving MGBs. This thing is pretty freaking slow. But I really want to keep it forever and I want my dream engine would be the uh, Buick V6 uh, but uh, I'm gonna go for the Chevy S10 V6 uh, drivetrain so far is what I think I mean I've given thoughts to uh, I know where a, a nice uh, Alfa Romeo drivetrain is but I don't know if that's allowed or if that would be enough of a power gain to go through go through that but anyway here she is the beginning of building my dream car
Aloha, and welcome to Project 007. She just arrived today from Seattle. Uh, looking over the car, I just actually installed a, a back seat. It came without a back seat. I discovered I am the proud owner of some brand new door panels, even though I'm gonna go with the 007 tuxedo inside. But anyway, uh, I smelled gas on the way home, so I turned the fuel pump on and I noticed that. Stay tuned for updates after I jack up the car.